I'm the kind of guy that's uh, really intense. I want to be on the floor. I want to play, and I want to go out there and contribute. But, you know, it's like every game, the first five, six minutes, I get two fives. I'm on the bench. It's, it's really frustrating. However flamboyant his behavior might be, Rodman is unapologetic. In this video, however, we're going to find out how good his daughter actually is. As you might imagine, Rodman isn't the poster child of fatherhood. Nevertheless, the NBA All-Star has three children. Alexis, born in 1988, DJ, born in 2000, and Trinity, born in 2001. With a famous father known for violent outbursts and bizarre behavior, Rodman's children have captured the attention of the public, who often wonder, what is it like to have Dennis Rodman as your dad? Born to Rodman and his first wife, model Annie Bakes, Alexis Rodman referred to her dad as a really beautiful person in ESPN's Dennis Rodman, for better or worse. Still, it wasn't always a bed of roses. Rodman's third wife, Michelle Moyer, gave birth to Dennis Rodman Jr. in 2000, when Rodman peaked his notoriety. Moyer filed for a divorce in 2004, just one year into their marriage. The two tried to work things out until 2012, when they called it quits for good. Today, DJ followed in his father's footsteps and plays college basketball at Washington State University. In 2018, Rodman admitted to Page Six that he spent more than 30 days in rehab so that he could see his kids grow up. I just want to see my kids grow up. I just needed to stop partying, take a step back, and get my life in order, Rodman explained. In the same interview, Rodman said that he wishes to see his son play in the NBA. Now I'm getting up in age, so I felt it was time to take a step back and reevaluate my life. Like seeing my son, DJ, who is a high school basketball star, play for the NBA. Rodman shared a throwback photo on his Instagram of the two younger kids with the caption, Blessings. Like, my actual eyes, I can like shake them. <laughs> People don't know that because obviously I don't do that on a day to day basis. Among friends, Trinity Rodman is known as the Washington State University soccer star. Trinity has played with the under 20 U.S. women's national team and is a rarity in soccer. Almost all American women her age take a well traveled path. They play soccer in college and then after graduation, they join the National Women's Soccer League through the draft or sign in Europe. Yet at 18, Trinity felt it was already time to go pro before playing a single minute of university soccer. However, after being told she couldn't sign with the NWSL clubs until going through the college draft first, she enrolled in Washington State University, but left quickly as the COVID-19 pandemic delayed the sports schedule. She became the youngest player ever drafted in January when the Washington Spirit selected her number two overall. My mind was already there before I even went to college, but then as soon as I got there, I realized that I could totally be pushed to a higher level, Trinity told the Guardian. Why wouldn't you take an opportunity to get better than you would have in college? As if Trinity's record-setting decision wasn't headline-grabbing enough, the fact that she is a former Chicago Bulls star's daughter has followed her around throughout her young career. But all it takes is watching her in the field to see why she is more than just Dennis Rodman's daughter, and has earned her place as a rising and promising talent. Being the youngest player drafted into the NWSL follows a certain pressure and expectations, but so does the Rodman last name. In just about every interview she has done since the Spirit drafted her, Trinity has been asked about her famous father, but it's not new and it's definitely been a thing my whole life, she said. Now that she's gone pro, instead of her friends constantly asking about her dad, it's journalists. If she gets annoyed by it, and who could blame her, she never shows it. He is my dad at the end of the day and I don't think it's gonna go away, so I just answer the questions and move on. As for growing up a Rodman, she said, you could say it put a fire under me more than pulling me down. I was more in the mindset of, rather than saying, oh, this is annoying, I don't even have a name. I was more like, oh, I'll show these people I'm an individual and I'm going to develop in soccer like he did in basketball. So I think I'm more driven because of it. While some people are hung up on her connection to basketball greatness, Trinity quickly and organically gravitates towards soccer, the sport that became her safe haven. Of course, she tried basketball, but was more influenced by her older brother DJ than anyone else. As far as she knows, her dad never tried soccer, but DJ did and didn't like playing with his feet. It was funny because I really wanted DJ to like soccer, just like he wanted me to like basketball, but we were both like, nope, this isn't gonna work, Trinity said with a laugh. I'd probably say my mom's my role model just because she's kind of shaped me into the woman that I've become. Her mother, Michelle Rodman, who mostly raised DJ and Trinity as a single mom after her divorce from Dennis, said she was always aware that her daughter was cut out to be a professional soccer player. In elementary school, I will never forget, she was so intense and so serious about the game, Michelle told The Guardian. She would come off to the sidelines and just cry, like, why isn't anybody else trying? She would just run up and down that field like she still does today because she's so used to nobody else trying. 
Five championships or not, that competitiveness isn't something Trinity attributes to her father. For instance, when the Guardian asked Trinity if there is a question no reporters have ever asked her that they should, she didn't hesitate to say, having a dad like I do, no one asks about my mom, because she's obviously not an NBA star. But I just want people to know that my mom's been my support system in everything in life. And she's been my best friend and my rock. I don't think people know how close we are, and even though she wasn't in the NBA, she has an extremely competitive and driven mindset. And she's an extremely strong woman. She's my role model. My dream job as a kid was being a makeup artist. It's very weird, because I play soccer and I never wear makeup, but that was my dream job. No doubt Michelle has raised two fine athletes. Even though last year's U20 World Cup got canceled due to COVID, Trinity scored eight goals and assisted on six during the qualifying tournament, making her one of the squad's most productive players. Spirits head coach Richie Burke calls her a tremendous talent and has praised her ability to cope with the new demands of being a professional. To that end, the Spirit has tried to learn from their experience with Mallory Pugh, the USWNT star who had a similar trajectory as a teenage breakout and has sought to insulate Trinity from outside pressures. Nicknamed The Worm, Dennis Rodman is one of the most excellent rebounders ever to play professional basketball. His rebounding exploits have drawn comparisons from the legends of Moses Malone, Wilt Chamberlain, and Bill Russell, all of whom were taller and heavier. Sports Illustrated once referred to Rodman as a sort of basketball genius. A dedicated analyst of the game and a tenacious defender, Rodman led the NBA in rebounding for four consecutive years and helped lead his team to five NBA championships. However, as his career went on, he drew more attention for his off-court antics. With his rainbow-colored hair, multiple tattoos, his penchant for conducting interviews in gay bars, and tumultuous romances with the singer Madonna and the actress Carmen Electra, Rodman landed headlines far outside the sports pages. Rodman always traveled in the outside image. The hair, the numerous body piercings, the tattoos, and the episodes of cross-dressing are all the product of a man who is as much an entertainer as an athlete. I tried to do something bold, Rodman said in Playboy. I created something that everyone has been afraid of. The Dennis Rodman I was born to be. Pew never quite settled in with Washington and has since been traded twice while losing her spot in the USWNT, but the spirit has high hopes for Trinity's future, signing her to a three-year deal. Already famous as a direct attacking threat, Trinity wants creativity to get viewed as a more significant part of her game. She looks up to Tobin Heath, known to her fans as the Nutmeg Queen for her flashy style of play, and Kristen Press, once a target striker who has grown into a crafty white threat. Trinity hopes to win trophies with the Spirit and, of course, earn her first call up to the senior USWNT. But her personal goals this season are more practical. The biggest goal for me is just working on myself and having a driven mindset moving forward, she said. I want to get faster, I want to get stronger, I want to get smarter, I want to get more skilled in the field. If she can do that as she hopes, then she'll just be Trinity Rodman, period.